Alright guys, welcome back to my GPS series. I will just do a quick video on how to undervolt, reduce the temperature while keeping the same performance and also reduce a bit of the power consumption on the i9-11900 and on the i9-11900F, which is the one I have here. It's the exact same thing. Now, I'm running a stress test in the background. I don't know if you can hear the pump, but basically we are reaching 88 degrees. Now, that's a bit high, even though it's still okay. So we want to reduce that. Here's how you do it. First thing, you want to go into the BIOS. By do that, just spam the delete or f2 key let's see you in the bios and let's see what we can do okay so here we are in the bios this is gonna be a very quick tutorial uh just go on uh, you know the tweaker side of your bios depending on the motherboard it might be called ai tweaker overclocking tuning something like that scroll down until you find vcore cpu vcore you want to set it to dynamic vcore or offset sometimes it's called and you go down here and you just hit minus 0.50. This is gonna work on every i9 11900 or 11900F in existence. So just do that and then hit F10 to save and you've basically done everything. Your undervolt is done. Remember to enable your LexMP, but I mean, you probably have done that if you're here. And also unlock the power limits if you want more power, but don't do it if you want to reduce performance. You might actually want to disable the enhanced multi-core performance if you want to lower your CPU temperature. So this is it guys, see you in the next one, and sorry if it was short, but I don't like talking too much if it's not needed. Take care, bye. Yo, hey guys, in case you're still here and just giving out a couple of performance figures, uh, the average drop on temperature was five degrees, and the average drop on watts was 20 degrees under load under Prime 95 small FFT stress test. That's a pretty high drop, and since I also unlocked the power limits while doing it, it also gave me a slight boost in the score in the benchmarks. So let me know if you try it, if it works for you and take care. Bye.